Hiya Blake. Words DB, you've got a thread about books and I'm gonna try to answer it. Um, but I'm gonna cheat. I'm gonna cheat very, very much. Um, basically, you asked about music related books. Um, you didn't say nonfiction or fiction. So that's the reason why I'm calling it cheating because I don't have any nonfiction books to show. I have so some and uh, there's one coming out in March that I'm really looking forward to, um, but overall, I'm not a nonfiction kind of guy. I love a story. I love um, a good, good made-up story. And I got three books here that are just that. And the first one, it's it's a masterpiece. Jonathan Lethem's Fortress of Solitude. It's about a young white kid who moves in with his dad in the ghetto. Um, I don't know precisely where. It's in New York. I haven't read it in a long, long time. Uh, but there he befriends uh, a young black kid and they become like the biggest, the bestest friends ever. And uh, they sort of, you know, deal with the problems they have in, in a ghetto and it's just well well written. Um, it involves um, superheroes, comic books, um, crime, but it'll, and a lot of music, uh, hip-hop, funk, it all gets interwoven in this story and it's just it's just such an amazing amazing book Normally, I'm not a big fan of like book adaptations, m m movies uh, based on books, because I always know a book cannot be surpassed because you got your own fantasy to work with. Um, but I do wish, I do hope that this is going to be turned into a movie someday, because it's it's an amazing, amazing book. Jonathan Lethem, uh, Fortress of Solitude. Another book that has elements of music in it, and mostly, you know, the 90s, the mid-90s Riot Girl slash indie punk movement, or whatever you want to call it, is this book, Flyboy Action Figure Comes with Gas Mask by John, uh, Jim Monroe. He's a Canadian writer, very much in the, in the vein of uh, Douglas Coupland, and uh, this is his only, like, um, the only book he released through a publisher. He did uh, three more books, but those are all self-published because he didn't like the uh, idea of, of working for this big corporation that just doesn't really do what you want it to do. Anyway, um, it's, a, it's a story about a young boy falls in love with a waitress, and it turns out that this boy has uh, a superpower, as does the girl. Uh, the boy can change into a fly, and the girl can make things disappear. Together, they form this superhero um, like duo, and they start fighting, you know, corporate crime. Uh, they fight the government. They they uh, they just they don't fight criminals. Well, they do, but they're criminals in charge of ruling this country. Uh, that's what they're fighting, and it's it's at times hilarious, at times really touching, and it's well written. If you love Douglas Coupland's style, check this out. If you can't stand copycats, stay away from this because it, it's it is like a Douglas Coupland book. Very well written, and it's fun. And then a writer who always puts elements of classical music and jazz music in his books. It's a writer that I, I would love to see get recognized even more than he's already recognized. He's my favorite writer, period. Um, he's from Japan and he's called Haruki Murakami. This is Hard Boiled Wonderland and the, edge and the End of the World. Um, it's two stories that, that 
basically interweave. It's, 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 I don't know how to explain it. He always does that. He has a real world and he has a fantasy world, and they both come together at one point and then they move their own way. It's, it, it, it is like uh, Kafka. It is like, um, like a David Lynch kind of story, but not as weird. It's more like if David Lynch, if a David Lynch movie would be normal. That makes sense. Um, but this is just an amazing writer. This is one of my favorite books by him. And um, yeah, it's, it's it's an odd odd book, but it's well worth reading. Um, it has typical Japanese things going on, but the writer looks more to the West in terms of entertainment. So when he talks about classical music, he talks about Western composers. Um, same goes with jazz music. He doesn't mention Japanese jazz artists. He men mentions someone like Coltrane or something like that. So, well, uh, this is a guy who's, who's every single book he, he writes is, is a, a masterpiece. And this is my favorite, one of my favorites by him. So these are uh, recommended books. And, uh, you know, if you want to read something else than a nonfiction book about music, these will do just fine. So, Blake, there you are. Um, hopefully, uh, this is okay, <laughs> since they're non, -fi uh, they're fiction, not non-fiction. Anyway, that's it. Have a good one. Peace.